a little bit of a bouncy camera here. The winds are not as strong as they were earlier today uh, when those flurries were coming through. Did you see that? I mean, it was flurries. It was trace amounts on grassy surfaces. Visibility looks great now uh, looking west off the tower. The winds are still gusting 30 to 40 kilometers per hour, uh, giving us a wind chill right now of minus 5 out at Pearson. Feels like minus 7 in Ottawa. Now, the actual air temperature is right around the freezing mark, and that's where we're going to stay right through the night tonight. So temps not really budging, right? We're going to sit right around zero minus one, zero minus one into the morning. You'll have to dress for a wind chill around minus six, seven to start the day. And then look at this temperature, eight degrees to end off November. That's like four degrees above average. So it's mild. However, it is also going to be windy, so it's not really going to feel like eight. It'll feel a little cooler. Average high for this time of year is about three or four. Here's the next 10 days. We're going to be at or above seasonal for the next 10 days. I do see a little bit of a drop in temperature, not until around December, like 11, 12, 13. Okay, then you'll have to bring out the heavier winter coats. But tomorrow morning... Uh, we'll see some cloud. We'll see some sun. It's going to be a, a dry day tomorrow. It's an excellent day to hang lights. Maybe not excellent, just a very good day because those winds will be on the gusty side. But I would say go ahead and get them out if you haven't got them out already and enjoy that little, little bit of sunshine that we get tomorrow afternoon under partly cloudy skies because after that, Lots of cloud. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've got like almost overcast conditions right through the weekend and into the early part of next week. And coming out of that cloud will be precipitation. We'll break that down day by day. Today we had some flurries. Tomorrow's dry. Friday rain, Saturday rain, Sunday rain, Monday flurries. All right, so we will have to prepare uh, for that rain throughout the weekend. The darker the green, the more rain we're expecting. This is kind of like a just a, a pre look ahead if you will and it looks like the heavier rain will be out through the west end of Lake Ontario back down through southwestern Ontario where you see the darker greens less rain to the north however there will be some snow mixing in as well throughout the weekend once you get over those higher elevations to the north so enjoy that dry day tomorrow the eight degrees winds gusting up to 60 kilometers per hour there's your wet stretch Friday through Sunday and then flurries possible on Monday. Now, I've got five degrees right now. I'm being generous with that. It may only be right around three degrees. We'll have to keep an eye on Monday.